time in my life, I seriously feared failure. However, <coughs> when I arrived in Hong Kong, I dug my heels in and decided that I would give it my all. I was able to put together a line that got the company back on track. Face the fear and tell yourself failure is not an option. After 10 years of working for my family, I became executive vice president of a Missy sportswear company, traveling the world and working with Walmart. My dream had always been to open my own company and to put my son into business. On one of my trips overseas, I discovered freshwater pearls and a budding jewelry business. I decided to leave a secure position in order to face a new challenge in my life. My friends asked me if I was afraid, and I said, Failure is not an option. I put up my own capital and started my company, Gardenia. Through my experiences, I learned along the way to be grateful for the opportunities that I was given. I learned to become a leader and not to follow the crowd. I learned not to be afraid to start over. Most importantly, I learned that it is not money that defines you as a person, but your self-esteem. I'd like to share a story that was told to me by my father, Amin Adrian. The year was 1929, and the stock market had crashed. Banks had closed, and people were jumping off buildings. My father, too, had lost his entire life savings. He started to walk home when he realized he had to tell his mother, who he supported, that he had lost everything. She met him at the door and saw how upset he was. He told her what had happened, and her reply to him was, it is not the money that makes the man. It is the man that makes the money. You did it once, you can do it again. With those words, she gave him the courage and confidence to start over and remake his fortune. Hope and encouragement are the catalysts for success. You cannot control what goes on in Wall Street or in the economy, but you can control what goes on in your home. Stand up and fight for the lives of your families and your children. Every person has the ability to make a difference in her own life. I believe in the woman of our, our community. I believe in the strength of our woman. There is so much talent that has yet to be discovered. As women, we have dual responsibilities in these difficult times. Some women can work to help support their families. But I think it's the job of all women to believe in themselves and to give hope and encouragement to their husbands and children. So I want to leave you with these messages of survival. Work strengthens and builds character. When opportunity knocks, answer the door. Become a leader, not a follower. Don't be afraid to start over. Embrace change. Face the fear and tell yourself failure is not an option. And lastly, it is not money that defines you as a person, 
but your self-esteem. May Hashem bless you and your families, and may Hashem bless our community.